Everybody has a story about a nurse that was in their family or an experience with a nurse in the hospital. That's part of our legacy is taking those stories and being able to tell our children so that they will be interested in what was successful for us and what helped to, to, to make us what, you know, who we are today. There's been many conversations that we've had with people in the community that we've discovered that they were RNs and we didn't even know it. It's kind of distressing to see that there were so many people that were in the nursing field that are no longer in. And how can we get to that question, what made them leave, and how can we get them to stay and or help bridge the mentoring that needs to happen to keep more people involved in nursing? Our young people are not gravitating toward nursing at this day and time. Whenever I look at my nurse, I want to be just like her. I want to be able to impact someone's life to that degree and make such a difference in their lives that because of me, their overall health and well-being is elevated to a different level. We're trying to find out what is the problem, why are people not interested in nursing, and how can we fix that? There are so many career opportunities and options for our, our kids, and not only our kids, but even our, our parents who are still going through their fourth or fifth or sixth career choice. I think it's really important that our workforce reflects the population that we're caring for. And um, part of that is so that we're providing culturally appropriate care, but also recognizing that our African American patients need to see that their health providers also look like them and understand some of the history and background. There is a strong history of African American women in the nursing profession. And uh, that's something that we need to build on to draw in, again, more people of color into the health professions, including nursing. Today, it's all about re-educating the community. We have panel discussions. We're trying to determine what people's past experiences have been in the nursing uh, occupation or in nursing schools. If I did go into management, I would be the first African-American male to ever have a management position in this hospital. And I realized what it was going to mean to the people that were looking up to me and looking at me, and I took it. We have representation for all the nursing schools. Just to know that black nurses are kind of saying, wait a minute, let's get together, let's talk, let's mentor each other, let's, you know, grow together. I'm pretty excited about that. We have a guest speaker today. A lot of people have heard about Edna as a basketball player, but the most exciting thing is her ability to really talk about her life story, what moved her, what motivated her to become into nursing and how she loves nursing. I have passion for nursing. I have passion for making a difference in people's lives. It is a way for young African Americans to expand their vision of what uh, healthcare professions are out there. We don't have a lot of leadership in the African American community for young minds and young eyes to see that this is an option for me. We have people here who are interested in community health and they're here to screen for diabetes, hypertension, those kinds of chronic illnesses. I think it's wonderful. I think this is a time for young people to come up and you know they're the future and so I believe that if you don't have the nursing programs, they have nowhere to turn to, and having UC Davis as a nursing program, I think it's the most beautiful thing that they can have. I think they're truly blessed to be students here. And then we have employees, our staff, who are giving back by conducting workshops and building one-on-one -on -one relationships with our community. We all have historical perspectives that um, provide a lens through which we understand health and wellness and illness. And the white perspective is a, simply a different lens. And for a long time, it, we've seen that to be the only way. And as if that were normal and everything else was a deviation. And now we understand that it is but one lens through which we can understand uh, the illness experience of our patients. And so it's really important that we um, add additional lenses to that understanding of the illness experience. It's very important when you're sick to have somebody who looks like you, who maybe is like your auntie or your mom or, or whomever, who is waiting on you and helping you to recuperate. My great aunt, um, she's about 95 now. 
growing up and her telling me her story of being in the military and being a nurse and, and my mom being sick, it was just something that I just had kind of like invested into me and being exposed and being around that and that's what drives my passion is my, my great aunt and my mother. Being at this conference kind of encourages me to be a mentor, you know, you don't realize like yeah, there's a shortage, but you, it doesn't really hit you until you're at things like this where they're trying to recruit and it's like, you know, I can be a part of this. Since the school was founded, we've had a commitment to addressing health disparities um, in our communities. And an important part of that is developing a workforce in nursing and other health professions that reflect the communities that we serve. And the African American Women's Health Legacy Conference is yet just another part of that so that we can build relationships that will foster better health for everyone. We need more people to play a part in understanding what it takes to protect health care and we need to make sure that African Americans play a part in that. UC Davis is a huge part of our community. It's always been in Oak Park and uh, Oak Park looks at it as belonging to Oak Park. We have this facility here with all these opportunities and African Americans should be eligible for those opportunities and they should go after those opportunities. We all, we all want health care to be supported and to be for everybody, um, but we all have to understand some of the demands of protecting that legacy. Everybody's learning that uh, these little silos that exist of information and resources uh, they're not getting anywhere because we keep rehashing the same thing and expecting different results. But when you bring everybody's ideas together and they share their past experiences and their outcomes and then you can learn from those experiences, that's when you actually see progress and success. So we want to thank you for supporting us to support you.